Well, if I asked you, give me a word or two to describe Steelers wide receiver Juju Smith-Schuster. What's the first thing that comes to your mind? I know a lot of people will say TikTok. A lot of people will say dancer. A lot of people will say funny. A lot of people say entertaining. But I think a word that really resonates with everybody, uh, especially after what we saw this offseason with his decision making, uh, it would be loyalty. Uh, now, as the Steelers drafted Juju uh, in the second round uh, about, what, five years ago, four or five years ago, and he had a very interesting decision to make. He had a decision to choose, oh, do I stay or do I go? And to me, I was thinking, uh-oh, the Steelers, they didn't put a tender on Juju. They didn't franchise tag Juju. They didn't re-sign him before he became a free agent or even after. So this dude got an opportunity to leave. So this team, they didn't show any loyalty to you. And then on top of that, two teams that the Steelers definitely have some recent history with offered him more money than the Steelers ended up offering him. Uh, and that was the Ravens who were looking for receiver help. And the Chiefs, who are always looking to make their team better and stronger and even more powerful. But Juju, who received bigger offers from both Baltimore and Kansas City, said, no, I'm not doing it, I'm not going there. And those two are both obviously very successful teams, very, very well run organizations. But Juju said, no, I'm straight. I'm staying right here. And essentially what Juju was doing was setting himself up for the long run, but he was setting himself up for the long run through loyalty. Because while he did take a, a cheaper deal to remain with the Steelers, it was a one-year deal. So essentially this one-year deal could propel him to get in a multi-year deal, whether it be with the Steelers or maybe somebody else in the future. But that would set himself up. If he had a nice year here in the system that he's already familiar with, in the system that he already knows, and in a system that already knows him, then he would be set for the future. Again, whether it be in Pittsburgh or whether it be somewhere else. And you had to respect him for choosing that route. I know me, I was, and I, I mean, y'all can go back and watch the videos. I was one of the Ravens fans that actually wanted Juju Smith-Schuster here. I did. And I don't, I don't feel bad about that at all. Because I felt like Juju, he could have been a good fit. Uh, I feel like Juju, he's a physical wide receiver. And one thing that my, my Ravens, they struggled at, which the Steelers do a pretty good job at because they throw a lot of short passes. They throw a lot of passes around or sometimes even behind, but around the line of scrimmage. But what those Steelers receivers do, what Juju Smith-Schuster does, they get a lot of yak. Their offense, again, a lot of short pass. They do, they do throw the deep shots in there, of course, but a lot of short passes. So those Steelers receivers, they got to fight. And they got to get a lot of yak. And I was like, man, my Ravens, they, they've been struggling in the yak department for years now. Adding Juju, Juju, adding Juju Smith-Schuster, that would help in that department. And that could also open it up for the other wide receivers around them, too. So I was like, oh, yeah, that was for Juju. So when he turned down the Ravens off and, and turned down the Chiefs off and I heard about why and heard about the money and stuff, I was like, oh, okay, that's cool. I ain't mad at him for that. And I respect it because loyalty is something that you don't hear about in the NFL very often because these teams they are not loyal to these players uh that's why I, I can never ever get mad at a player who wants to get his bread one way or another whether it's one of your favorite players on your favorite team and they like I want to be traded because I you know I want to get paid and if they know they're not going to get paid from their current team I want to be out or even if, if their contract runs out and they like you know what I'm going to go elsewhere because I know this team isn't going to pay. I respect it because NFL is not for loyalty. That's what it stands for. It's not for loyalty because it's not. But Juju chose to go the loyal route. Uh, and it sucks that now he is going to be, he injured his shoulder and he, he had the surgery. They said he had the surgery either last night or this morning. Uh, and that not only puts him on injury reserve, but that, that's in, it ends his season. So his season is done. That's a wrap. And you know what Juju Smith-Schuster, he was a player that he showed his emotions out there on the field. And I know a lot of people, oh, he is a diva, he is this. No, he, he showed his emotions out there. I remember it was a game, and that game actually did help my Ravens to get into the playoffs that year. 
uh, I, I want to say it was in 2018. Um, it might have, yeah, I think it was 2018, where uh, the Saints were playing the Steelers. And it was looking like the Steelers had everything wrapped up. Uh, Roethlisberger threw a pass to Juju. Juju caught it. Fumble. Fumble. And that ended the game. Saints ended up winning. And Juju Smith-Schuster, who you all know for, of course, the TikToks and the dancing and the having fun, high-energy guy. But he was on the sideline crying. And a lot of people looked down on that. They were like, oh, man, look at this dude crying on the sideline. Oh, man, what a punk. No, man. You got to respect that. That dude felt bad. That the, the play that he made, it cost this team a game. And it cost this team a, a big spot there, too, in the playoffs. So... Shout out to uh, Juju Smith-Schuster for, uh, I just respect him, man. I, I respect him because, again, he, he puts it all out there. Whether good, whether bad, he puts it out there. And now that his season is done, that's a big blow to the Steelers because they have a very streaky offense, in my opinion. I feel like their offense is not very consistent. It's either, it can be either really hot or really not. So in the times where it's really not, and now you lose a player like Juju Smith-Schuster, who is one of your top receivers. Of course, you got Chase Claypool still and Deontay Johnson. And, and this is going to put more pressure on them to have to step up that much more. But when you lose somebody like a Juju Smith-Schuster, then it just makes things for you that much harder. So we'll see how the Steelers uh, bounce back. We'll see what moves or corresponding moves they make to Juju Smith-Schuster being out for the year now. Um, and we just hope that everything goes smooth and it's a, a, it's a smooth process with his recovery. Now, this may essentially hurt him in the short run, in the short term, because, again, he did just sign a one year deal to come back to the Steelers that was going to set him up for the long term. But now teams may be hesitant to give you that long term deal because you just has shoulder surgery and they're going to want to see how you recover, how you bounce back. And teams may not just want to throw out all that money to you right away. So he may end up wherever he goes next, whether he remains with Pittsburgh again or just leaves, he may end up signing another one-year deal. So we'll see how it all ends up. Anyway, team, keep it clean. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. And we out.